Hi everyone, this is Kim Goyette, your meditation mother, coming to you live from Austin, Texas. Well, if you're like me, you stuffed yourself over the holidays. I am feeling like a big fat turkey right now, and I need to move some items out and down through my body. So I thought today's class would be all about healthy digestion. We're gonna do postures that help you to move things along and out of your system so you can feel free, clear, and light. So let's get started. Yoga for everybody with Meditation Mother. So we're going to start in a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you. And we're going to do a pumping breath. It's called Breath of Fire. It helps to clear things and get some energy to burn some of the digestion and that junk that's sitting within you. So we'll start with that uh, exhale, really focusing on the exhale. And it's going to be a navel drawing inward and up, in and up. It's a low belly pump. We're only focusing on the exhale. The inhale will come naturally, and it's a quick exhale through the nose. So it looks like this. So we'll do that for several breaths. Then we're gonna exhale fully, inhale completely, and then we'll do it again, three cycles. Let's try it. And don't worry if you don't get it right away, just fake it till you make it. Gently close the eyes. Bring your pelvic floor up, lift it up towards your navel, and then start that quick exhale through the nose. Exhale completely, fold forward, get every last bit of energy out of there, squeezing the low belly. Inhale all the way up. Exhale out the mouth. Try it again. Quick exhale through the nose. Exhale completely. Fold forward. Squeeze. Get all that stagnant food moving. Inhale all the way up. Exhale out the mouth. Last time, quick breath. <laughs> Exhale, folding forward, nice squeeze in the lower abdomen. Deep inhale here. Exhale, out the mouth. Good, pause for a moment. Notice any sensations in the body. Good, gently open the eyes. Just building that fire for digestion, getting things moving is so important. So let's come to hands and knees. We'll spread the fingertips out nice and wide. Plant the hands on the earth. Take that right arm up towards the sky and then weave it through underneath the left arm. Come to the outer edge of your right shoulder and right ear. Plant your left hand on the earth to start and then take your left hip, draw it back. So we're in a gentle twist right now. And we're twisting so that we're squeezing the right side of the body first. The right side allows us to get momentum and movement in the ascending colon, and then we move to the left side and squeeze for the descending colon so that it's a natural flow of our digestive system. If you want to enhance the twist, take your left arm, weave it back behind you, draw your left shoulder up towards the sky, push into the back of your right arm. Good, take a few breaths here, inhale, Exhale. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly unwind. Come to hands and knees. Let's try the opposite side. So left arm reaches up and then we sweep it through to the underneath the right arm. Plant your right hand. Come to the outer edge of your left shoulder. Draw your right hip back. Create some space. And then if you want to enhance the twist, weave that right hand back behind you, roll the right shoulder open, the chest, push into the back of the left arm. 
Deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale here. And exhale. Slowly unwind. Let's curl the toes. Bring the knees to touch, the ankles to touch. Curl the toes. You can even reach back and spread the toes out nice and wide. And there's two, there's two trigger points right in your glutes. And when we lean back and put our heels in them, it stimulates digestion. So it might look like this for you, or you might need a pillow underneath the back of the um, glutes to cushion your knees, however you want, you can do this. If it feels comfortable, walk your hands up and place your weight right in there. Yeah, if it doesn't feel comfortable with your toes curled, you can point your toes, whatever feels right. But we're just trying to hit those two digestion stimulant points. It's right where your sits bones are. So staying here for a few breaths, inhale here. Exhale, soften the low belly. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, soften. Good, let's come back to hands and knees, tap out the toes. And then we'll cross the ankles and sweep the feet all the way through to seated, lengthen the legs. Bend your right knee, plant the foot. Ah, let's try, hold on, is that correct? Let's try the left knee, bend the left knee. We're gonna twist first, because we wanna twist the right side first with the ascending colon. So keep your hands on your left knee, sit up nice and tall, flex your right foot. Keep your right hand on the knee, reach back behind. Let's do that twist, look over the back shoulder. Good, gently squeezing out. Awesome. And while we're here, you can look over the front shoulder, keep your upper body where it is, open up the neck a little bit. and slowly unwind, lengthen both legs. Let's bend that right knee this time, and now we're gonna work with the descending colon. So keep your left hand on the leg, reach back behind, and let's twist. Look over the back shoulder. And keep your upper body where it is, and look over the front shoulder. and then slowly unwind, lengthen both legs. Let's scoot ourselves forward. Bend the knees, grab onto the backs of the thighs, slowly lower all the way down. So we're gonna get some things moving a little bit. I don't know if you've ever done this with a baby. It works extremely well when they have gas, but this is called wind releasing pose or wind relieving pose. So we'll hug the knees into the chest Bring our fingertips towards the toes, one hand on each knee. Exhale, draw the knees in, and inhale, push the knees away. So coordinate with the breath. You'll see very shortly, you might release a little something if you know what I mean. So anyway, let's get that digestive system pumping, moving food through. Exhaling as we draw in, inhaling as we push away. A few more times. Don't worry, you're by yourself, so just let things rip, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Good. And then one more time, exhaling. And stay here. Hug the right knee into the chest, lengthen the left leg. Give a nice squeeze. So really working with that ascending colon again on the right side. Give yourself a nice squeeze. If your knee doesn't pull directly in, you can pull it more towards the right out wide, whatever feels comfortable for your body. Let's keep the left hand on the right knee, open up the right arm out to the side, and then cross that knee across the body. Keep coming until your foot's planted, so don't worry about that left shoulder raising up. If it feels okay, your gaze is up towards the sky or over towards your right shoulder. And again, stimulating the ascending colon on the right side. Notice your core and see where you can soften. Releasing, letting go. Ooh, 
One more deep breath here. Exhale. Bring the leg back to center. Plant both feet for a moment. Center your hips. And then hug the knees into the chest. Let's do the same thing on the left side. So keep the left knee hugged in, lengthen the right leg. Give yourself a nice squeeze, this time stimulating the descending colon. Allow your breath to soften. And then we'll open up the left arm out to the side. Keep your right hand on the knee and cross it across the body. Plant your left foot on the earth. Again, allowing that left shoulder to rise off the earth if it needs to. Gazing up towards the sky. And then notice where you're gripping, releasing anything in the belly. Just letting go. Good. And then slowly coming back to center. Plant both feet, center your hips. Good. Hug the knees into the chest one more time, one hand on each knee. We're gonna do that wind releasing pose. Let's see if we've made some progress. Exhale as you draw in. Inhale, push away. Good, two more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Plant the feet, arms are along your side, palms face up. Lift the hips up off the mat an inch and move them more towards your heels. Slowly lower down, traction up the spine. Lengthen the legs down to the corners of your mat. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. Allow your ankles to fall open. Gently close the eyes and just notice your body, how it feels, if there's maybe any warmth in your core or movement. And with every breath, just softening the low belly, relaxing, letting go. And just a few more breaths here in Shavasana. Taking this time, really honoring your body and its need to eliminate. Just another form of letting go. And one more deep breath here. Exhale out the mouth. Hug the knees into the chest. Roll over to one side and make your way all the way up to seated. So we'll finish with just a little bit of gratitude. Gently closing the eyes, you can sit in any comfortable seat, arms are along your lap. And we'll take this time to bring our awareness to our bellies. The center point of all our fire, our digestion, our engine where we make things happen. And just giving gratitude to all the infinite work that this organ does for us, this system does for us to allow our bodies to accept and absorb nutrients and all the vital energy that it needs to run your system. Bring the hands to heart center, bowing the mind to the heart, and take a moment to honor that digestive system, which helps you to get things done, to give you the energy to live this beautiful life. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm Kim Goyette, your meditation mother. And if you like this video and you wanna be the first to receive weekly videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Yoga 
with Meditation Mother. See you next time.